In this video I'll show you how to paint Skaven with contrast paint. Hello Bitsbrew, it's Craig from bitsbox.co.uk here with our latest painting tutorial. So in this one I'm going to be painting a Skaven clan rat using mostly contrast paint so I can show you how to get them um, sort of ready and on the board in no time at all. And I'm quite happy with how this turned out. Um, contrast paints work really well on Skaven. And um, yeah, hopefully um, you guys agree as well. Um, but before we begin, as always, if you're new to this channel and you like all things hobby related, then do feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. I am hoping to do a lot more sort of painting tutorials in the near future, so if you, if you have any suggestions for any that you would like to see on this channel, then please do leave a comment down below. And as always, just a huge shout out and a massive thank you to all of our Patreons. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting this channel, and if you want to know what our Patreon is all about, there's a link in the description down below. So, yeah, let's get straight into painting some Skaven. Okay, so I've got a clan rat miniature here. This is from the old starter set, or the, um, is that Island of Blood? And I've sprayed him with the Wraithbone Primer. So I'm going to take some Gilliman Flesh, and believe it or not, this will be for all his flesh areas. So I'm just going over all the fur as well, and all the flesh at this stage. I think Gilliman Flesh is a really nice colour for um, Skaven Flesh. It just works really well. It's a nice sort of pale flesh tone, and over a wraith bone, it it seems really ideal. So that's why I went with it. And yeah, um, if you know to apply contrast paints by now, it is literally just one thick coat. I'm gonna take some Militarum green now. Now for the um for the cloven, you can of course use any colour you want. It all depends on what your scheme is. But I'm going for like, this sort of drab green colour. And then I'm going to have a yellow on top, which we'll see in the next step. So yeah, and with whatever colour you choose, um, most of the contrast paints will work really well for this, so... Just take your time, be neat, and apply it to all them areas. And then I'm going to take some Naz Nasdrag yellow, or Nasdrag yellow, and just um, apply it to the, uh, the top half of all these sort of cloth areas. So anything waste up is going to be yellow in my scheme. A lot of Skaven schemes do seem to have two different colours, so I thought the yellow and green work really well together. So Volopus Pink next is going to be for his tail. You could opt to go with more of a fleshy colour for the tail, or even mix, maybe try mixing this with the golden flesh to see what you get, but oh, a nice bright pink tail seems to work quite well. So yeah, I'm not much to say on this, just um, take your time with it. And of course, always try not to get any on your other areas you've already painted. So for all the brown areas, I'm going to take Wildwood. I think this is one of my favourite contrast paints actually. It's really good, it covers over everything really well, and it's just so good for like sort of dark wood. And I'm going to do the whole shield, and have a shaft of a spear as well, and any sort of little straps and belts and such that your miniature may have can be done in this colour as well. If anything I won't be doing is like the bandages, as we're going to do them in the next step. So yeah, as I said, the bandages are going to be in uh, Griff Charger Grey. Of course you don't have to do them in this colour, you could choose a darker grey, or even more of a sort of fleshy bony colour. Um, I just went with the grey because I don't want it to look too much like his own flesh. I think it worked quite well. With this colour though, I did find you do have to put it on quite heavily, and you may even need a couple of coats. So Gore Grunter Fur is going to be used, shockingly, for his fur. Um, he's not a Gore Grunter, but um, it works really well for fur. It's this nice, sort of lighter browny colour, and it goes over the Gilliman flesh really nicely. So now we've done the contrast paints, we're going to paint our metal areas using some lead belcher. Now if you wanted you could use a grey contrast paint for the metal areas, I'm not really a fan of doing that, so back to the old traditional methods of just using metallic paints. Which in this case is lead belcher, but you could use any silver you want really. So I've thinned it down just a little bit, and that gives us a nice good coat. And then we can wash that with some Nuln Oil. So essentially contrast paints give you both of these steps in one, just the base and the layer. And the shade, sorry, I should say, not the layer, but the shade. 
So we're going for that look with that colour as well. And then I'm going to take some Ushabti Bone just for his teeth. Now you could apply a shade over this if you want, but I've just gone with just straight up Ushabti Bone as we're trying to get these on the tabletop nice and quick. And I'm also just doing his little claws as well. And then lastly, I'm going to take White Scar just for his eyes. Now of course this is a tricky little step, but if you get a nice good tip on your brush and just be very careful, you can just paint the whites of his eyes. Now you, obviously you don't have to do them white, you could do them yellow or even green or red, but I just wanted to do them white. And then he's been based and we have the final miniature. So yeah, nice and quick and easy. I, am, I have 40 of these to paint, which is why I'm going with a very quick scheme. I've already got quite a few of them done at the moment but yeah I was really happy with how this turned out they look really good and um, contrast paints are brilliant for stuff like this and they worked really well so yeah if you have a lot of Skaven and you want to get them on the table nice and quick then this tutorial certainly help you out and um, if you'd like to see any other painting tutorials as I mentioned in the intro I would love to hear suggestions so please do leave a comment down below and if you like the Skaven miniature then please do let me know and um, by giving the video a thumbs up and I'll see you all again in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.